Hi everyone, my name's Amy and I work for Groundwork, an environmental charity based in Greater Manchester. And today we're going to be looking at how we make wildflower bombs. Um, now wildflower bombs are really great for lots of reasons, for helping improve biodiversity, provide food for pollinators like bees, different insects, um, and they also help to keep soil really healthy and stable. So got a few different ingredients. I've picked quite an easy recipe today, make it as simple as possible. So we've got some compost, some flour, a bit of some water and some wildflower seeds. Now these ones are from Grow Wild who a couple times a year will actually send out free samples. So that's a great way to get some wildflower seeds of your own. Um, the ratio is about 10 parts compost to one part flour. So I know flour is a very rare commodity at the moment. You might want to go around um, beg and borrow from a neighbour if you don't have any at home at the moment, but you don't need very much so you can just take a couple of spoonfuls is enough. Um, so you've got your compost, all you need to do is add in your flour and then slowly add in some water and start mixing that together. So the consistency you're looking for, um, you want it to end up being quite sticky, kind of like a sticky dough like consistency. Um, you just need a little bit of water for that. Pop a tiny bit more in there. And so when that's ready, then all you need to do is make your small ball, like so, and get your tray of wildflower seeds and simply roll it up, trying to capture lots of these little seeds so you can have lots of different types of flowers once you come to planting it. Then you've got your ball ready and just simply make as many as you can out of your mixture. So I'll roll another one. But it is really that simple. Really, really simple. So there's two of those. So you just keep going till you run out of the mixture. Leave them to dry for about 48 hours. And then once you're ready, take them outside into your garden. You can even put them in like a large tray. Um, or take them out to your local park and get planting. Thanks for watching my video and hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you send any photos to at amygroundworkgm. Thanks for watching.